Hey everyone, welcome to this video where I am basically installing that rear diffuser onto this Audi S3. So this is going to be a quick installation video of how to get this done, all the bits and pieces that's required with doing it, and um, basically how I go about doing it, and just kind of giving you guys a little bit of encouragement and maybe a little bit of a how-to and stuff of what's going on with this installation. Again, with my channel, with myself, it's all about sharing information and making life a little bit easier for us all. But at the same time, if this is a modification you would like to get done to your car, just hit me up. If it's not something you wanna try out and doing, I can look at doing it for you. With regards to this install, it's pretty simple-ish from the looks of it. We've got this rear diffuser on at the moment. The car is very filthy but as car guys we gotta be okay with working on filthy cars like that it just comes with the territory so with this we're gonna look at removing this it's already well it looks like it's already coming off a little bit in some points here you know but that's not a big problem at all there's a couple of screws that we have to remove from underneath it and pretty much the rest of it is coming off nice and easy um, it's all kind of held in with clips after that but this one does have an F1 light on it which has got this wiring loom going to it and I've already tested it out and it's quite interesting with how it works so the black on this is an earth okay and the red is a life that you basically want it to work with the brake lights so or in essence with the side lights more so so when the side lights come on the the red light needs to have the wiring to match that and then the yellow just over here which you probably hopefully can see there that one needs to come on when you actually press the brakes so when the brake lights are actually being pressed and they start flashing um to show that the brakes are being pressed that's the one that you want with the yellow because that will then flash the rear light to say hey this car is slowing down i just wanted to add that you can look at changing around how the live for the red wire or the yellow one will get power depends all down to how you would like the braking system on this diffuser to work do you want it to work with the side light do you want it to only work with the brake light do you even want it to flash at all or not that is completely down to personal choice so i've got a little setup over here so if I turn this on, you'll see it flashes and then it turns on straight away. This would basically be with the, the side lights already being on. Now when the brakes are pressed, it will basically activate the yellow wire, which if I press on here now, you can see it's flashing to say, hey, this car is basically coming to a stop. Everyone, watch out. The wiring loom on this is actually pretty long. We'll be able to get it to one of the brake lights hopefully so now the main thing is we've got to remove the current stock diffuser so let's look into what it takes to remove that a good little tip on knowing what to remove is look at your replacement item what is on here at the moment that looks like it's part of the mounting so with this we've got a few clipping points just around the bumper and stuff so we've got a few more just going around the top a few towards the bottom you can see we've got some holes here which are clearly used for screws or bolts and yeah we've got the same on the other side as this which we've got another little screw point just here these longer ones are normally for clips or clipping points so it comes to actually taking off the diffuser like i said already this one isn't exactly fitting on perfectly at the moment but it's mostly held in by clips underneath here we've got a couple of screws that we need to remove off. These are T20s, I believe. You can see that one just there. There's the other one just over in the corner. And that's literally the only screws we have to remove. The rest of them are all clips. So this one over here, it looks like the clip's already been partially wedged off. Uh, there we go. All right. I'm just going to remove those two screws and just bit by bit unclip everything being careful as much as I can to not damage anything. The, Brit the, the plastic will be very brittle underneath here purely because this is an old car, it's gotten a lot of heat and cooling cycles going through it. So if you want to take really good care of the rear diffuser, just be mindful of that. You have to spend that extra time just taking it all off 
Um, you might even be better off if you're really, really, really worried about it, taking off the whole rear bumper and taking it off that way. But even then, there's always a risk of things cracking. But yeah, hyperlapse time, everyone. So I want to show you all basically how I've removed the rear diffuser. The sides were pretty easy. In fact, the other side was a lot harder than this side. I think the other side must have been involved in a little bit of damage because the end of it just cracked off and I noticed a little bit of damage on it beforehand. Um, but yeah, this side, let's just say, so the corner is pretty easy to remove on both sides. You just gotta pull it out from out of this corner. Once you get it done, it'll pretty much come up to about here this point where it's all just naturally just unlocked itself this one's a bit tricky to get to around the actual exhaust but you can get to it now I undid the bottom ones first because I thought whilst everything else is secure on the car I'm gonna remove those and unclip them so that even if anything does get restuck again it'll be a lot easier than having to deal underneath a car which is pretty messy and dirty already um, with loads of dirt falling on my face and trying to get this thing to not fall on me whilst also undoing the last few clips so I thought I'll get those done first so with the corners you do have to quite awkwardly get this one off but once you get that out this one's pretty easy these guys the best way to remove them is get your arm underneath coming through this way and just pull them downwards these tabs they'll pull down and they'll unlock themselves as you're pulling them down, just use your other hand to bring the diffuser out towards you. Hopefully you guys saw that in the hyperlapse, but that's literally what I've done here. Right now, the next step is to figure out what needs to be done with the wiring for the actual brake light. So, I'm gonna get access to one of the brake lights now, route the wiring up, and I wanna make sure that it can all work properly before fitting this back on because I don't want to fit the new diffuser on and have to take it off. So to remove this rear light, which we will need access to, I want to take off this trim, which as you guys can see, just hooks into place. I believe these are T25s. Yeah, there we go, there's one. We should now be able to, to use a little trim removal as well, but from here, need to bring in a trim removal tool and just pop it out like that we've got the wiring and everything else here as well I'll just disconnect that perfect that's removed now I've got these really long cable ties and I've just fed it through the hole under here which you know as you can see I'm gonna try it from here fed it through you can use anything to just feed something through there and why i've done that is so that i can bring the wiring from the rear diffuser up onto it so i'm just gonna bring the diffuser over and i'm basically gonna test out everything that needs to be tested with the lights the wiring that i need to tap into and also basically kind of figure out if this wiring is long enough So everyone, you would have seen that last clip of me actually just testing out all of this right now. So let me show you all what's been done. So I will be adding a little bit of insulation tape onto this afterwards to make sure it's all as weatherproof as I can make it. But in essence, on this connectors here, the brown is the earth, the red and green, so the one just next to it, that is the main live for the actual brake light to turn on with the with the um, side lights and then the green and brown just here which is next to the brown going across that way that is the actual live wire for the brake lights to turn on everything's good there i've shown you all what needs to basically be done so right now weatherproof all of this as much as i can put everything back together and then we will have a rear diffuser all fitted
So everyone, that is the car all completed, finished, and I have to say, this rear diffuser has really grown on me. It looks really good. I'm gonna have to ask the owner where they got it from because I'll leave a link for it in the description, uh, in the description section and stuff like that. Because yeah, it looks really good. Instead of instead of it just coming to the end here, it goes all the way around to the side, and it looks really smart. A couple of things about it that didn't fit perfectly is this corner section here it's not all the way in like it ideally should have been and therefore it's also short just on the end you know you can you cannot get this to stay in any further than where it is right now and it's the same on the other side so it looks more like an actual design flaw if anything because yeah i didn't want to come all the way to the end the other thing i've done is added a bolt a bolt just just around here right underneath in through and onto the actual bumper just to make sure it stays in place because you don't want this to um, be flapping around or anything like that it's a little bit of work but it can be done fairly simply um, a lot of good things one thing I would recommend is is making sure the wiring for the actual rear diffuser is routed through and around the exhaust last thing you want is for it to be hitting the exhaust and then just burn through the wires so that's one thing i tried to spend a little bit of time extra on making sure that's all done and protected if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you think i could have done anything differently please leave it in the comments down below if you'd like to get anything done to your car please message me on instagram but for now everyone i will see you in the near future peace out bye